Before we jump into the Camera Raw 6 fundamentals, I wanted to take a couple segments and show you some of the tools that we're going to look at throughout the rest of the training so that you have an idea of where everything is in case you want to start experimenting with different effects or different looks as you're working through the training. So in this first segment, we're going to talk about some of the different tone and color controls. And obviously, we'll cover them in detail as we go through the training. But right now, we're looking at the basic panel. And this is where we're going to set a baseline for our image corrections. Once we've got our crop um, in there and we've straightened things out, often what needs to happen is that well, we need to make corrections to uh, the white balance settings. Many times, uh, you know, we're in a hurry and we use the auto white balance setting in our camera and we need to make some changes to that. We have some ability here to make uh, global contrast corrections. If we want to uh, work on the shadow or highlight details, we can do that here. Mid-tone contrast, we can do that here. And we can also work on the color intensity here. We also have a curves panel. And we're going to be talking more specifically about targeted curve corrections and parametric curve corrections and how that can help us to sort of take away some of the abstraction of a typical curves workflow. We're going to simplify it a little bit and see how quickly we can improve the contrast in our image. We're also going to talk about the HSL or hue, saturation, and luminance controls. And these allow us to target color by color uh, the individual hues, intensity levels, and even brightness of specific areas in our image based on what kind of colors are located there. And also we're going to talk about things like split toning, which can help us to add a bit of color character to our black and white images. We also have some really impressive local correction tools, uh, such as the adjustment brush. I'll go ahead and decrease this brush size a little bit. Um, and this allows us to use a lot of the same kind of controls that I was just mentioning briefly in the basic panel, but use them in a very localized way. Rather than having these settings apply across the entire image, you can have only certain settings apply in certain places. So it's a much more precise way of doing your raw edits, and uh, it's an invaluable tool. So we're going to talk about this in detail. We're also going to talk about the graduated filter which works on a similar principle, but has a little bit different user interface uh, and can be a little more quirky, but also very helpful uh, depending on which kind of photography you may have been doing. So we're going to talk about all these things in detail as we move through the training, but it's uh, helpful, I think, just to know where everything is uh, so that if you want to start uh, being brave and experimenting a little bit, you can do that. Next, we're going to talk about some of the more detailed retouching or edits that we can make in Camera Raw 